We begin this hour with a rebound report from 25 News reporter Aaron Heft. Alcohol sales spiked during the pandemic and feeling alone can be especially harmful for those recovering from drugs and alcohol dependence. Aaron met with a support center to understand how you can seek help if you're in need. Isolated, anxious, unsure of what the future holds, many of us find ourselves unsettled. But for those in recovery, social distancing has mounting challenges. People that may have just entered recovery, um, that are early on in their recovery, they had a system that was in place assisting them with their process. That system was just removed. Stephen O'Dell from Stages of Recovery speaks from experience. People are experiencing isolation like they never have before. And so isolation can lead to stress, which leads to unhealthy coping skills. 11 years sober this month, he explains people at home anxious with their vices could be problematic for those at the beginning of their journey. What am I going to do about my meetings? Am I allowed to still go see my support system? Can I still meet with my sponsor and these types of things? And the answers were no, you're not supposed to be doing those things right now. And it's stressful. So now they're by themselves in an unhealthy setting without the same routine. And it's just a lot piled on top of each other. But now more than ever, resources are at your fingertips. So many providers that have switched to telehealth. There are um, nationwide 12 step meetings happening on all kinds of platforms. Making sure you know you have a system of support when you need it. I think the fear of not knowing what to do, not knowing who to call, paralyzes them. And so I would just encourage them to, to get online, get on the phone, and uh, seek out those resources that are readily available. Aaron Heft, 25 News, Waco. Now, help is closer than ever now. No matter how isolated you may feel, a call to your insurance provider or local recovery groups can help steer you toward your options.